Good morning, everybody. This is the DCN. Camillus Butch Dancy II. The professional political agitator. The watchdog of the East. Those two names were given to me. I didn't choose them. About last night. On last night, November the 13th, 2023, at the Rocky Mount City Council meeting. First of all, I attended the Committee of the Whole meeting at 5 o'clock. And then at 7 o'clock, I attended the regular monthly meeting of the Rocky Mount City Council. There is such a thing as public comments. And it is open to any and everyone, whether you live in Rocky Mount or not. Now, I address the council doing public comments. And I said something to the effect of, I am criminal dancing. Uh, I thought it was right interesting last night, the mayor called me Butch Dancer. I guess he said he ain't gonna get my name wrong this time. Um, trying to say criminals. But anyway, um, I addressed the council and I tried to give the mayor a little advice on, um, doing public comments to save some time. I said that the previous, if I'm correct, the previous chair, I mean um, mayor, David Combs, doing public comments, he would call a person name, and then he would call the person name that followed, and that way that person could be ready to go up to the podium. Well, I then said, I am a life fully paid member of the Rocket Mount NAACP joined in 1992. I am a I am a Edgecombe County Democratic Party precinct chair and serve on the executive committee among other things across the county and the state. Because I serve on the state executive committee for the Democratic Party also. Last night is no different than what I have been doing since the 80s. Holding folk accountable. And I, um, my thing that I, how I addressed the body was that I congratulated all those who got re-elected. And I said. I see. Who are y'all accountable to? Because I've been coming to these meetings. You are elected by the people. But I am having a problem with who are you accountable to? And I walked away. A little bit later, Bronson Williams came to the podium. And during his comments, he addressed me. And I responded to him saying, my daddy is at home. And he said he was talking to me after the meeting and I said, it's nothing that we need to talk about. At that point in time, the Rocky Mount police should have intervened and said that if you got an issue, you need to take it off the property of the Rocky Mount City government. That was not done. After the meeting was over, he approached me and asked me what was my issue with him. I said, I am not talking to you. I have nothing to talk to you about. And I kept repeating that. But I'm going to let you look at the video and see what happened next. 
because I am a person that likes to present the facts and that's why I record so that I can play it back so uh, after that part what I just stated now go look at the video and I'll attach the link to the video um, um, in this in the comment section but again going back to who I am I hold folk accountable tell folk to hold me accountable I am into politics and what goes on in Edgecombe and Nash County by it being the twin counties they are inter uh, 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 related I will continue to voice my opinion I was elected by the people of Edgecombe County to serve as a precinct chair to serve on the executive committee and also elected to serve on the state committee from the people in Edgecombe County I was threatened last night and I'm still trying to figure out what the problem is but again look at the video but folk it makes no sense because I am a 61 year old man will be 61 on Christmas Day and the Rocky Mount City Council meetings are open to the public I signed the paperwork to speak and that's what I did I didn't see where anybody a council member or the mayor had an issue with what I said or do they didn't force it so I had every right to attend the meeting not only to attend the meeting but to speak during public comment I don't take threats lightly. And I want to educate you all on threats. Well, people got to understand, I've, I've gotten a lot of messages and people said uh, they have been attacked. Well, right now, um, this is about me. So I don't into what has you have, uh, 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 um, have experienced. Right now, I'm dealing with the attack on Camilla Butch Nancy the second. So anything else is irrelevant at the moment until I get past this threat against me. Now, educating you on threats. Yes, people said that it was a threat. However, in order to be an official threat, the person threatened had to make that call. So, what appears to be a threat, and it is, you know, it looks that way, but until the person that is threatened says it, they feel they have been threatened, then it is irrelevant to everybody else. So, I am dealing with that now. And we'll see what the outcome be. Because again, I don't take threats lightly. So I just stopped by for a few minutes to let you know where I stand on what happened on last night in the Rocky Mount City Chambers. That I also would like to say that the Rocky Mount Police Department should have handled that totally different than what took place last night. Last night should be a learning experience for all, even down to the police department. And I'm that person that um, always trying to look at what can be done better. And so here we go. We're going to use last night as a chance to make things better with how we handle situations. 
because I ain't got time for foolishness. I'm not a violent person. Matter of fact, never been in a fight in all my life. I ain't got time for that. And then I done got too old to be fighting now. So, stay tuned. Because this will be a teachable moment for all of us. Mm, pass it by the judicial center. Man. But anyway, y'all stay tuned because the DCN smoke is no joke. Don't have time to play with folk. I don't play with my children. They are 25, 35, no, no 25, 37. Can't think of how my middle daughter is right now. But uh, she's born in 1991. This is, uh, she's around 32. But anyway, y'all have a good morning. Have a great day. Because uh, the DCN Smoke will do what he always does is handle his business. Thank you all for reaching out. with your concerns but let again i remind you right now i can't fo i'm not focusing on your concerns i'm focusing on mine so this is about me being threatened on last night and i will deal with it accordingly have a good morning